Hey guys, Touch Computer Help here today. Um, so I'm seeing that people are having a bit of trouble. Like, out of all the friends and people that I know, they do not know how to create one of those banners that basically will allow you to go ahead and do stuff like open up to your YouTube channel or your website or an, some other thing so what I was thinking about that was um why not just make a video and show you guys how to do this so let's go ahead and open up a new um new fireworks and we're going to be using the layout of 728 by 90 in this one on transparent so what's basically going to happen with this is you're going to want to start off by making a box around your whole entire layout it's fine if it's bigger I always say that because if you have a problem with it then you'll know something went wrong during it so you could kinda get that out of there <sighs> sorry about this I'm trying to just line this up right here which is kind of being a pain and yeah, whatever it's close enough and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a gradient color so just click on it go down to here and click gradient and choose what you want I'm gonna choose contour and what I'm gonna do about this is down here you could change certain things on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it so that I can have it to have a little more space. I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm just going to leave it so that it's going to be like this so that you could have it be a little like that and so what uh, you want to do is if you're going to import a logo instead of creating one like I am because I know most of you probably have a logo um, you'll want to make sure it's a dot ping or png file and then you'll just want to import it and I'm just gonna you would see that ping files are a lot bigger than jpegs and gifs when it, you open it in this program so sorry about this it's gonna be a pain You can see I just kind of grabbed everything there. Damn it. And you want to make sure you get it in even height and width for this. So I'm just going to bring this down to 75 and 75. And there we go. And so you can, if you choose to, align it and then control C, control V, and simply just put it on the other side also. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And next you want to go and add some text. So you want to make sure it's a pretty decent size you want to usually keep it bold and 
just let's spiffy up this text and make it about 36, 37. And so I'm just going to line it right there. And I'm just going to put this here and change the color of this to right about there. So what I basically did was I typed in my text, I changed the color, and then I went to right here where this little pencil is, and I changed it to how I preferred it to look. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And there's your text. And now you want to go back over to where the vector is and choose a rectangle. And what you want to do is you want to line it up to how big your text will be. So I'm going to make a few on the bottom. So I'm going to make like three or four. And you probably want to just start off with putting it as black. And then going over and ending up changing it to a different color at one point um you can also make it and change it to like a gradient using the contour so i'm going to quickly do this but apparently it's being very very rude to me and so let's just go in here and change that to white and have it so that it's a little wider so that you can put your text in there not that wide but and now what you want to do is click select click on it control V Control, control C, sorry, and then control V, and then just simply hold the right um, key over till you get a pretty good amount of space. And it all depends on how many of these you would like to use. So I'm just going to completely move this over here. And then. And simply just have it so that they all will move over and try to get as center as possible. Now what you want to do is... Probably you'll want to zoom in for this part. And simply just go to text like I'm going to put. And you want to make sure you change that back down to smaller. I'm going to just do... Um, website and I'm going to make sure you have it. A darker color for this and if you would want to an outline hmm I spelled that wrong wow. whoops and then you could just cop uh, click out of there select and copy and paste it and then just drag it over it doesn't and so what will end up happening with this is what you want to do is go over to where the web is right here and click on rectangular hotspot. Make sure you get all of the square or at least inner part of it a bit. And then you just want to line it up and type in your website or other URL and then you want you could simply just select copy and paste it one second about this so that you can do this a bit quicker like I have
and then all you'll have to do is just click on one and then go back down here oh and I forgot to mention you'll probably want to type in the HTTP colon slash slash www dot your link so that you don't get any mix ups so let me just quickly go back over here and change this this part will probably be sped up if you're wondering why it's going so fast And so there you have it. You'll want to just recheck them, make sure they're all typed in correctly, making sure the HTTP colon slash slash is in the front. And then what you'll want to do is just, you can go ahead and save it as a .png file. Um, so that you can come back and edit this and once you are done with that you'll want to go ahead and open a file export and then go to your destination folder and make sure you type in what you want to call it and I'll have a link to this in case you want to try it out um, but it'll show you right here you want to make sure it's exporting as HTML and images not anything else and then you want to make sure uh, you name it whatever you want like mine's banner test die HTML or HTM whatever it decides to put it as I'm just gonna leave it alone and then save it alright so now that you have this all done, you can upload it to your web server, web host, whatever you choose. And I already uploaded mine right here. And this is the final look of it. And you can see as you hover over it works. This link will also be in the description. And you could simply just click on one and it does come up. And you could see right here my website's still underway. Uh, you can click on all of them. Uh, just make sure you still have the fireworks still open just in case something goes wrong in the process. And then feel free if you're testing this out or if you want to go to www.tkref.tk and simply just click on this video right here and have it so that once you click on this, it'll start playing music and just click on it and then go through the process of shortening a domain. Or you can simply just click here or download this.tk so that you can rename and recode all of the website to a shorten.tk. Well, comment, rate, and subscribe.